another beautiful muddy morning and it is Thursday and I'm filming this ahead because I thought well you have the chance let's do it but I'll probably won't have time to edit it till the weekend I've got uh, Sunny in and the baby and Jim here's the baby <laughs> and Jimmy's having a look over there <laughs> And the reason I've had them in is because I've got a crack owl. And I thought I'll share what it looks like and I'll give each horse a little groom because it's been raining for the last few days, as you saw in my previous video. And thankfully, my mom went on a business trip to UK and I arranged with the hotel she's staying to have the rug shipped to them. So. so <laughs> Uh, and then she was able to take them back with her in a suitcase, which is great because I don't need to pay for uh, moita or customs and I don't need to pay for shipping, which is great because I think shipping there wasn't too much, something like that. So whenever someone goes to UK or my friends come over, thank you, thank you for coming over, uh, I, or we go to UK, I try to order some rugs, order something, because the prices and the quality in UK cannot compare to what we have in Latvia. For example, <laughs> I got a Shires rug for uh, Phoebe and Sunny, and they're just plain outdoor rugs, uh, they're 800 den, I'll, I'll, I'll show them later, and I got them for 43 quid, which I guess is near the 50 quid mark plus shipping and everything. You can get a rug like that for 50 quid in Latvia, but it's boring. <laughs> First of all, it's boring. I don't know the quality and yeah, otherwise the rugs, simple rugs like that, they're expensive. They're like uh, 70, 80, 100 euros for a simple lightweight turnout. And you're like, why? why? So let me show you the rugs. Exciting! I wanted to show you the lovely assistant, but she's getting a bit <laughs> anxious. Anyway, here's the rugs. I've got two of these, and they're this type, and they're six foot nine because I've got big girls, and they should be, yeah, 840 den, zero grams, waterproof, blah, 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 blah. So, and they're a typhoon, not tempest, but typhoon. And then I got this for Jim. It's a fly rug uh, for four foot, where is it? Should be somewhere said oh there we go it's a four foot three which is his size high equestrian uh do a rug smaller and it's got cute little sunflowers so i'll try that on now as well so it's ready for him here's my lovely assistant sunny uh, she's a bit nervous because they're supposed to be going out straight away you should be done dallying around in the morning but i thought if i don't rug her now when am i gonna rug her <laughs> If I don't film rugging her now, and then I can rug her. Uh, she's still young. I've had her since November here, chilling out here. Uh, and I have groomed her a bit, so she kind of knows what's happening. And I've, 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 I've trained her. I've trained her to be calm and, and, and collected. <laughs> uh, by giving her lots of treats and love. So I'm going to give her a quick groom. So she, her coat recovers from all the rain. And... Good girl, you. You're a good girl. 
She really likes when she is being groomed as well, so that's really nice. So she's already got a shower as a question. Uh, we will hold her. She said, bargain price, six quid, amazing. So she's kind of clean. Uh, but her winter coat is not really big. She is kind of warm. She has a 200 crown from High Equestrian, uh, but she just hasn't used much in the winter. So she was really desperate for a, for a lightweight. She was using uh, using Bella's one. Now she's got one of her own, so let's see if it fits. There it is in all the story. Let's open it up. See what it looks like. I was worried about these front closures, but I realized Phoebe's 100 rush is used for five years now. Elsa Shards has exactly the same closures. And uh, I think uh, uh, Biggie's rug that she's in now is uh, she's inherited from geography. It's an uh, amigo, also has good front closures like this. So I thought since I already used them, it's fun. Good girl. I good girl. Here we go. Let's do up the front. Do up the front. Looking good. Fitting well. That's really good. She's got quite a large neck and it connects quite low. But there's this little pocket here that I like. The bell has the same issue. She's got quite a high neck. And the box fits perfectly. So it doesn't have leg straps, but it's not really windy here and they do come and roll down, roll, but most of the time we see them all the time, so I'm not going to worry. Do you know, I think they look good. Do you like your new work? Does it look good? Does it look good? We have a proper look. Oh, she looks very good. <laughs> I think she looks good. What do you think? I think she looks good. I think you look really good. I think you look really good. Good girl. Good girl. Will you wear it today, even though it's not raining yet? It looks really good. Really. <laughs> so we have Jimelin, who uh, is exceptionally dirty, but it is clean underneath. He's just, uh, see, he's, he's very clean underneath. <laughs> it's just very dirty on top. And yeah, you're going out of your mud, mud prison today because it is very muddy. And he was clearly saying, Mum, you're having a bit of a joke. Because it's only mud. Where is my luxurious table? Mm. So he's going with a big third again until it calms down or until we no longer have negative digits. Uh, we can put them in another paddock with water.
So, I've given him a quick, quick groove, but I think he's staying in today because he's still very wet. I put on a fleece on him, which is a funny fleece, I'll show it to you. And uh, just so it dries off, because he is dry. It's just his coat's so big and so well insulated, it doesn't dry off this, so this is air drying. Obviously, it's very moist now, so it just doesn't dry. I don't want to put you out like this. So, let's put on his beautiful, I don't know if you can see it, beautiful little rug. Yeah, it's for you. Do you want to see it? Yeah, you like it? You're like, where's my old zebra one? The zebra one has so many patches that you can't tell it's a zebra anymore. Crush velcros. And then should be. Oh no, it's good. Look at it! Look at it! It's so cute! He's like, Mom, what have you put me in again? So Jim isn't really the kind of pony that rips his rod. He actually keeps very good, gives, takes very good care of them by escaping from them regularly. So there we go. Very cute. Jim is ready for summer. Jim is ready for summer. Now we need to get you a matching uh, fly, fly, fly mask. He's like, no! <laughs> yeah, because you keep dumping them. Isn't he lovely? Isn't he gorgeous? The last dog I have is for Phoebe. She's our oldest girl and one that deserves me without the milk. She currently has our cardio's old rug. It's a bit small on the front and on the back, although it holds water though. Still, we're going to undress her, give her a real sweet groom, and then try on her new outfit. And Boss is going to inherit this beauty. Here we go, she's had a quick groove. Looking better, still very dusty. I'll give her a proper groove in the springtime. Phoebe's 21 this year. She's turning a bit old. Gonna knock this off. Gonna keep this for packaging. 
And the rug's exactly what the family had. Hold up, it's you. Great. Okay. Yeah. Something that was a bit like on the tighter side, it this feeds you really well. Different. Have a look. Oh, I can tell you. You look really, really good. You look really, really good. And just the most carpet. Like that. that. So there we go. All three ponies having your rug. <laughs> so now she's going to go out in this. It's not that cold for her. And now she can make it mud, mud clay. Right? Yeah, we're good. We're going to go in. Yeah. Yay! Thanks for watching. And I will start saying this. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps. Bye! Sleepy girls. It's a brand new rug. Off to rule the world.